do 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 all right that's my intro song um hello everybody this is um my uh, wknl special episode solo episode uh jacob got a new job so <clears throat> i don't know when i'm able to record with him again um i've been wanting to do this i said i'd do this for a couple weeks i've been putting it off putting it off but my sister yelled at me so now here i am um, if you're unfamiliar with what this is, it's my idea of what I could do as a virtual, like, rambling podcast, audio doc type thing where I just collect my thoughts and speak them out loud into the internet and have, hopefully, my friends <laughs> listen to it. Um, I am drinking a little bit right now. Um, I have some of my favorite whiskey on on the rocks. Um, sipping it straight. And then I also had a natural light seltzer earlier. Uh, the sour ones that are supposed to taste like sour Jolly Ranchers that I got duped in because they're not good. They're very not good. They're the epitome of not worth it. And I mean, they have like a bunch of carbs and me being on keto, you know, that's a big deal. And then they also taste like shit. So it's like... Why did I even buy them at this point, right? Yeah, I'd be, I would either be fine that it tastes like shit because it has no carbs, or it needs to taste good to be worth the the loss of taking all the carbs in, and it's just simply not great. Um, I don't have much that I wanted to talk about in this episode. I just wanted to get something out there and get my voice heard. Um, because I've been uh, I gotta stay consistent with the podcast. I gotta stay consistent with something. So that way I can keep this going and bring my ugly voice to your guys' beautiful ears. I One of the topics I did want to talk about was before I had done this, before tonight, I did have uh, this cold case that I was researching for a little bit that was um, local for um, my area up here, Northern California in Chico, and it took me so long to get this episode out that the cold case has been solved, actually. And um, let me get the name real quick of... Oh, I have one viewer and it's me, right? I have... Uh, um, this missing person from 2017. Her name was Jennifer Moore. Um, I was researching it in the sense that I was... I had a correspondence with the county sheriffs here in this, the area... And they'd give me some information, and I was just interested in figuring it out, being the type of, you know, weird investigative mind that I have. But, um, luckily, recently, um, unfortunately, her remains have been found, and they have arrested who they suspect was related to it. Um, so I'm very glad that some justice can be brought to the case. Um, it feels very weird because it is the first case that I not have been involved with obviously, but um, have seen to completion, I guess. Um, my thoughts go out to her family and everyone else involved, um, especially her son. I'm glad that the situation has been figured out, hopefully, and that it goes to trial and then the bastard who did it gets caught and uh, put away for what he did because it's fucked up. Um... She went missing from a Walmart here in Chico, and she said, you know, her kid had to grow up without uh, his mom, and my heart goes out to that. So, if anybody's listening, knows anything about the case, um, by chance knows anything about the guy that was involved, if you're listening and you're like a Chico native or something, please, you know, reach out to people that aren't me, and give some information about um what you know but that's it on that topic um now that it's been resolved there's not much i can do to bring light to the case um but i'm glad that there's something that can be done at this point um i recently started playing magic again um at the i keep saying um something i do no matter what but i started playing magic again at a local store here in Chico because 
uh, with COVID restrictions uh, dying down and everything, stores were allowed to have people inside to play and stuff, and we've been putting it off and everything like that, and I uh, really enjoy it. I instantly fell back into it. It's going to, I foretell it, tell it, taking a lot of money away from me. I don't see anything negative coming from us playing it, obviously. I mean, it's just a game, um, but it, it makes me happy. Um, I'm sure it makes Jacob happy, and it's a good way to make friends. I mean, I've already been there only twice now, and a couple of people have been cool enough to talk to me and stuff like that, and I don't know, making friends is harder than you think when you're out of school and stuff like that. You don't really talk to a lot of people, especially with my job. Um, follow up on the story of a lifetime with my weird dream world. This happened a couple months ago. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I have a recurring dream about a city and like two really tall like cement pillars and i re uh went to investigate an area that was named after what i thought the city was named in my dreams and uh, i didn't really find anything except i almost crashed my van um, i went up a mountain and the road kept getting thinner and thinner but the gps kept saying that it was it was a road that you could take so i kept going up and up until I couldn't take the van any further. And then I had to do like a 400 point U-turn on this uh, one lane road or else I was going to die. Um, pretty scary. But um, in other news I related to it, recently in Calusa, a city that's near here that I have to travel to for work, I pulled over in like a random part of the town, not even somewhere I'm supposed to be. I was just trying to find shade because... Um, there's never shade anywhere to draw to park your car, which is, you know, funny information. Uh, I have a side topic about that. I'll have to remember. But I pulled over and I looked to the left and there's two big ass gray stone buildings. And on them it says no parking, no cameras, no entrance. And I haven't gone back, but that was pretty jarring to see something that looks so clearly like that. Um, I do plan to go back when I have someone with me because I'm not going to fucking, you know, break into a building. Well, you know, not break into a building. You know, I'm not going to start snooping around a building by myself, um, especially on work time. Um, I hate the summer. This heat is killing me. It's like 114 every day here. The AC in my cars doesn't work well enough to keep a guy like me cool. The sun just destroys me so quickly. Um, I'm wondering what it's like in the rest of California, especially Fresno. Fresno being so crazy hot beforehand, before I'd moved up here. I'm just wondering if it's so bad that people aren't wanting to you know, get outside or do anything like that now. I feel really bad for construction workers and those road guys god they they have it way worse than me i'm only in the sun like 15 20 minutes at a time these guys are in the sun for like hours and hours and i bet they don't get fucking water pay or money to cover their expenses for water you know shit said um there's nowhere to park with shade I mentioned that before i um I don't know. Someone explained to me that it was basically that the city doesn't want to plant a bunch of trees because it's going to break up the cement eventually when the trees get bigger. I think it makes sense. Um, I still think it's stupid because I think cement that looks like that with trees building out of it is actually cool. But I know that a lot of the world has gone to like minimalist, you like easily defined architecture. Uh, I don't know much about architecture. I have a friend who does, but we never talk much about it. I really don't keep track of that kind of stuff. I know there's like a million of them, like buildings and styles, especially like derivatives of... Um, what the fuck am I thinking? Like nations? What? What? Not nations. Holy shit. Cultures, I guess. Races. Geographical locations of architecture 
you know like there's german architecture i guess is my point and when when there and there's american architecture and those are drastically different but i wish i knew some more about that stuff so i could define what i hate because driving around so much i see so many buildings and roads and stuff and i don't think that i don't think whatever way we're going right now is good i don't like the way buildings are always square they're always boring they're all laid out on a grid pattern on these boring ass roads and you always got to follow the same path to lead to the same thing <sighs> sorry um but yeah i don't know much about architecture but i do have a mild interest in it so i should probably research it Um, oh, I learned of an interesting project on Letterbox today. I, um, I found a list that's called, what is this called? Let me look it up right now. I did not like an MCU list that is, you're smoking crack. Oh, Rare Lust. It's of uh, some guy, I guess, he's finding a bunch of movies that are uh, rare, like out of print. You can't buy them on disc anymore, um, anything like that. And he's uh, uploading the, the movies to the site so that way people can watch them because there's no, there's physically no way to get the movies. And I think it's pretty interesting, um, being a big advocate for data archiving, um, being a big fan of archive.org and stuff like that. <clears throat> I think data archival processes are very important because there's a lot of things that we can't fix in this world um you know global warming is a thing that people argue about uh it you know it could be the end of us you know w war could be the end of us we can never see giant tech getting too big could be the end of us and all this stuff is just getting bigger and bigger as time goes on and people just want to fight about it forever and never get anything done we're going to meet a point, maybe not in my lifetime, maybe not in my children's lifetime or something, but we're going to meet a point pretty soon where it's just going to end, right? Things are going to, technology is going to end for us, life's going to end for us, and that's pretty bleak, but I feel like I want to be able to prepare the next form of society to be able to have information that we didn't have or don't have, you know, like... A big thing I was doing for a while, and I still do it, is that I collect books and... Sorry, I need water. Um, Books and videos and stuff like that that I think are really important. I collect them on spare hard drives that I have. Basically, like backups. But then I keep them completely separate from my computer because they're not very good hard drives, obviously. But I want them to be safe so that way people can, in the future, hopefully access that knowledge um and use it for things that they'll need right like they're not going to know cultures from other from other nations and stuff like that without any type of reference to it especially if it's something like that goes way back in like technology era and it's kind of it's kind of dumb cuz I'm going to have to just keep track of a bunch of hard drives for the rest of my life but I think that it it really does good. I mean, nowadays, how many people don't even who play video games and stuff like that don't even think about like the history that video games came from, from like the '90s or even like the early 2000s, right? Like, <clears throat> so many games have become popular and people things have taken off in recent years. You know, Fortnite and battle royales or whatever, Valorant, whatever's they're like good games. I'm not talking shit, but they're what people like now even though 10 years ago they would have even wouldn't have even been thought about right and people had no interest in games at that time until those things came along and then they don't want to go and look back at the history of games because they're old games or whatever and um it's probably like one of the few things that i have not even a controversial opinion but i guess like a negative opinion about is that i don't I don't feel that it's fair that people are like, games are old, so I shouldn't care about them, right? Like, only, only the newest thing that I care about matters. And 
being someone who grew up playing video games as like a little kid back before it was super popular and everything, you know, I do like I do like looking back at older games and seeing the things that they did that current games don't do. Because there's definitely stuff that current games don't do. I mean like they used to have shit that's just like busted. Like I mean you look how long ago Modern Warfare, Martyrdom, right? It's just annoying as fuck. And it was strong as fuck. And now we get things that are like deal fifteen percent too much damage. And it's that's what's OP. And I'm not saying that that's not like OP, obviously. But like things were so wildly different in like the Wild West of video games in the olden days. Um, who does good videos on that? Ray Civic does good videos on that. He just did one about World War II shooters. That was pretty interesting. Um, oh, the name of the stream, the WKNL thing. Um, it stemmed from an ARG that I was doing for a little bit since I moved. I worked on it for a really long time, but nobody ever discovered anything about it besides the entry-level stuff, and I stopped putting work into it, really, because I couldn't come up with a convincing story. I wasn't convincing myself of anything. <clears throat> I thought it had already been done. When it started, I thought it was a unique idea, um... But I I wasn't even a fan of my own project, so I knew I had to quit at that point. Um, but the radio station that was involved in the ARG was called WKNL, and it had radio spots and everything. I might implement them in this, I don't know, but I'm not... I wasn't a huge fan of the stuff that I made, except for one video that I had made early on. I made pretty good because I was driving like 3 a.m., and I would edited some some shit into... Into a driving footage that I had. Um, sorry, I'm reading a letterbox thing really quick. I was uh, pretty happy with the video that I had made. And so I might show that. I might upload that. I don't know. But I'm pretty much just done with the ARG at this point. There was a Twitter account. There was other. There was an email account. There was a Google phone number. And all this stuff set up. And nobody had ever found any of that. So I just dropped it. Um, I just started playing Yakuza today. Pretty fun. You know, it's one of Michael's favorite series now. He's a big old Yakuza head. Probably because he's a big old weeb. Um, I just finished watching Mob Psycho. Um, season 2, uh, on Michael's recommendation. That show was fun as fuck. I kept dropping it because I was like... I have this weird thing. I, I'm pretty sure it's because of my, like... ADD or something, but I feel like I'm wasting time if I'm not doing something. And that's, you know, 100% true when it comes to things like just laying in my bed being on Twitter, right? Like, that's obviously a waste of time. But if I'm watching something or playing something or doing something I enjoy, sometimes I feel like, why aren't I doing something else that I want to do? Which is stupid because it's my time off and I should be able to enjoy what I want to do. But I psych myself out like a fool. Um, I wanted to talk to a psychiatrist. I met one in a phone call to have her um, meet with me. But then I was like, yeah, I'm only available Mondays. She's like, I can't do Mondays. And then she hung up on me. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um, so I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to find someone else to talk to about that kind of stuff. Or, you know, talk to my random... Twitch stream, right, about my problems. What else was I going to mention? There was something else. Oh, yeah. I uh, started doing uh, psilocybin uh, on a regular basis. Um, microdosing it sometimes. Um, and then I'd do bigger doses when, <laughs> when Castile would visit me. And... Uh, and we just chill out and watch hella movies. And a weird effect that I've figured out well on psilocybin is that it makes you unable to get drunk. I mean, not unable, but I mean it significantly diminishes the effects of alcohol. Especially 
not especially with, but like more noticeably of the fact of a hangover. But uh, so me and Castillo, while we were coming down, we drank like fucking ton, a ton, a ton of alcohol, and um, we became nothing changed. And then the next morning, we'd be fine. But the next day, if we drank it would hit us like 10 times stronger. Like we had never drank alcohol in our lives. And it's such a weird effect. Um, there's a lot of other weird effects. I mean, obviously it's a hallucinogen, so it's going to be a ton of weird effects. But lately I've been able to, to break through things in my mind a lot easier. The way my my mind would stagnate and go in circles a lot about things. And lately I've been able to just be more focused on an actual path to... Uh, success, I don't know, succeeding, finishing something. Um, basically, like, what do I want to do? This. When do I want to do it? Then. That's when I'll do it. Instead of, well, but what if, like, this comes up? Or what if I'm, like, slightly more tired? Or <clears throat> I didn't drink enough water or suck enough dick today or whatever. I am able to put that stuff significantly off and, you know, be me which feels great. I really like the effect. It's <laughs> it's a it's a lot more fun than smoking weed, that's for sure. Um So thank you Jacob <laughs> for turning that on to me. Um listen to a lot of Joey Diaz about shrooms and stuff like that. Um been listening to a lot of comedians podcasts, uh Theo Vaughn, <clears throat> Burt Kreischer, um, Bobby Lee, I love Bobby Lee, I forgot I loved Bobby Lee, because I grew up watching Mad TV, and that show was a classic, that, that man is hilarious, but listening to all these comedians, I've thought, <laughs> I've seriously thought about going to these, uh, open mics that they have here, and trying something, I don't know, winging it, feels kind of fun, sounds kind of fun to me, um, I think I'm a funny guy, especially if I write my jokes down, instead of just winging it on a fucking podcast at midnight 30 o'clock but i uh i think it'd be fun to be on stage i don't know i miss i miss the stage presence of stuff from church and not all eyes on me but i like i like talking to a lot of people at once uh the open mic we went to a few months ago i liked it a lot it was really funny uh, I think I might have mentioned it on the podcast with Jacob. I'm not sure. But we went to one. Um, they're pretty regular here. Uh, apparently a w every week or at least every other week here in Chico. And some guy named Dylan runs them. Seems like a cool guy. Shout out Dylan if you somehow. But. Um... I don't know writing jokes and I guess making it was the goal right as a comedian and I wouldn't really want to do that it sounds kind of like a lot of work not the writing jokes but the like grinding until you make it thing and I don't really want to make my whole life about make being a comedian I really do like playing magic so I guess that would be something that I would be fine making my life about doing but I don't have the the money even with like a well-paying job, I don't want to fucking spend all my money on cards. I'm not one of those guys. I'm always too worried something's gonna happen. Um, last point, I guess uh, I've been doing keto. Um, things have been going good. I've, you know, cheated, fallen off the wagon a little bit, g gained some weight, but then lose it back. Basically, at 35 pounds down right now, feeling good about myself, more comfortable in my clothing. That's what matters to me is that I'm more comfortable. Because I don't give a fuck what other people think about me. I want to enjoy my body for myself. And uh, that's a big goal that I'm that I'm trying to reach right now. Uh, had a keto pizza. Uh, shout out David and Iho. Made one myself today. Pretty good. Happy with it. Going to try doing that as a regular meal now. I don't know. There's nothing else on my mind. Probably want to drink more. And... Uh, I think I've taken up enough of everybody's time, but uh, if you listen to this, thank you so much, everybody. 
Um, thank you for sticking with it. Uh, if I probably have better format, m more stuff written down next time before I go live. This is kind of an impromptu thing because of Alicia getting on my ass and the fact that I realized that I didn't follow on my uh, follow through on my promise, and I want I don't want to be a liar. Um, new episode with Jacob probably in the next couple weeks. I'll get on his ass so we can figure something out. Um, probably go over a couple movies we've been watching together. Uh, we watched Beverly Hills Ninja while I was high on shrooms. Made me really sad because Chris Farley died. But pretty good movie. Not the greatest thing in the world. Um, and then we watched Terminator 2. Oh yeah, it was 4th of July. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Um, Terminator 2 was 20 years old. 20 years old? 30 years old. Damn, I'm crazy. Well, everybody have a good night. Um, I love you. Uh, thank you for tuning in, whatever you did. Um, I'm going to upload this to YouTube pretty soon. You know, all the links, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, etc. Um, if someone else doesn't tell you they love you, remember I love you. And good night.